Hi, I'm Diane Neubauer. Thanks for using my YouTube read along videos in Chinese. I want to talk about some new ways that I've learned about how to use them more effectively. And so um, I'll start off talking to Chinese language learners. And then at the end, I'll talk to Chinese language teachers who have been asking about how I make these and how they might make them too. So it'd be great to have more of these options, especially for beginning readers in Chinese. So I had this older video, but um, I've learned from my online classes and how they actually use these videos or watch them as they use them in a couple cases. So I will show you what they did. Uh, there are some great features inside YouTube. So you got your playback speed. I always thought, wow, well, that's great. You know, you can put it down to 50% speed or 75 uh, because when I record these, I'm not really recording at the speed that I really think is best for a beginner. I speak faster because you have this control. And then if this is too easy a reading for you, you can try it at a faster speed and see if you can still follow along. Or you can try reading aloud, like shadow reading, where you're imitating the speaker as they read and you're following visually and saying it along with them. So there's a lot of ways, of course, to use this. But I have learned my students were not really using the slower speed. What they were finding more helpful was lots of pausing. And there are two places that they would pause, mostly, at least the, the two people I observed really working. So one of them really wanted to hear it first. So let's do that with this very first ever reading that we're looking at right here. So we're looking and listening and thinking about the meaning as it goes. So one of my students would pause after there, or maybe even after the first sentence, and she'd think about it, she'd look at the characters again, and she'd be thinking about what that means. And when she felt like, yeah, I got it, she would go on. Now what would happen is if she got stuck, let's say the word shu wasn't ringing any bells. She couldn't remember what it meant. She'd heard it, but it didn't stick that time. I have since been trying to add all of the transcripts to these videos, and I plan to go back and do that with other ones. If you have a Zhongwen Chinese pop-up dictionary, which is a free add-on for Chrome and I think Firefox, you can activate it, and then you can hover and get the pinyin and the meaning of that. So, oh, book. She likes to look at books. Oh, she likes to read. So because I have the spaces in there, it's probably not gonna pick up that it's one word. Sometimes I think kan shu might be one thing in a dictionary, I'm not really sure. Words in Chinese shift around and there's arguments about what, what's a word. So you can go down with all of the lines of text, that's gonna be one slide up here. So we got two sentences on the first slide, we got one sentence on the next slide. Um, that pop-up is really a great way to do it, but let's say you don't want just the dictionary one word at a time. You can turn that off, copy and paste that right into Google Translate or your favorite thing that tries to piece together the meaning of a sentence. Know that Google Translate often screws up between English and Chinese, but it might help you enough to go, oh, okay, I can figure it out from there. So that's a total beginning and somebody who really wants to hear the words before they try to read it on their own. What I learned from someone who was a little bit more advanced in their reading skill was he would pause at the beginning of the slide. So a slide, because it's a video, um, but I make these and they turn into a slideshow. So he would open up this, this screen with the new reading, but he would freeze before he listened. And so he would try to predict um, and he would like silently or sometimes kind of quietly read aloud, well, men, tin, tian. Oh, that one's not familiar or whatever. You know, maybe, maybe one word in there was like, eh, I, I don't think I recognize that yet. So then he would check himself by playing the audio. Oh, it's sure. And then he'd pause there again and kind of think about the whole meaning now that he has heard the word and go, oh, that rings a bell now that I heard it. Um, again, getting stuck, I have learned from them that it would be really helpful to have all that transcript stuff down there. So you can go down and check the meaning of single words or as shown before, copy and paste 
a sentence in with the caveat that Google Translate kind of can't handle this task. Um, so those are some of the ways to do it. You can, of course, slow down your playback speed, but uh, my own students were not really finding that as necessary as I thought that they would. Another thing that you might want to know to do is it's great to be able to listen to it once and then maybe you want to hear it again. Or maybe the second time you hear it, you, you feel like you want to read along. Um, you can click your arrow keys. And if you see down here, I just went back five seconds. Now, if I click a right arrow key, I go ahead five seconds. So that's a little bit of an easier way than trying to get down here and use your cursor to, to see what I mean. I can't do it. Um, to find exactly the second you want. Sometimes it's, it's good enough to just hit the left arrow key and go back five, hit the right arrow key, go forward five, um, and pretty quick. So I think those are the new tricks that I've heard. Use these transcripts. I'll be trying to go back and add them to my older read-along videos. Um, then if you are a Chinese teacher, 好吧,中文老师要跟你们讲一下, um, so how do I make these? So I have a way to make read-along videos. My process might be more complex than it needs to be, but I'll tell you why. I use Screencast-O-Matic because it has this really nice cursor. It, it is big and yellow, and it's not just a little hand, it, and it fades out. So as you're moving it, it's really obvious, and then it fades out, so it never blocks the view the whole time. Um, some other recording software didn't actually have that, so I really recommend Screencast-O-Matic. You can use it for free for videos that are shorter than, I think, 15 minutes, which all of these reading videos are shorter than 15 minutes. So that's something to try. I have a subscription, and it costs me $15 a year. I think it's really not that much. But then I can record any length of video and not worry, and there's some more options and features that you get with that. So I also have two videos about writing material. Um, so the, they're each eh, about 10 minutes long, right? Um, I did an analogy with Jello here. Like, what am I trying to accomplish with the content of the reading? I want students to get to see a few new Chinese words that they know by sound already, and now they're going to see them in the text many times, like 10 times or more, if, if possible. And this is helping, I, I think, and seems like it's working from what students are telling me, um, it's helping them to acquire the characters without having to do a lot of preparation and memorization in advance. And I love that they're getting the whole language experience of full sentences and stories and conversations and descriptions because they're seeing the words come up again and again in context. So um, I think it's, it's super helpful as a support to another kind of Chinese reading approach or as the mainstay, as the big bulk of the reading. Um, some of my own students who I teach online have, they demonstrate the ability to read on their own, something else. Um, some of them said it's a little frustrating in that they don't know that they know. Like if you sat there with flashcards and you worked hard and you double checked and all that, you would know if you knew a word or not. And they kind of feel like it kind of sneaks in and they're not as sure, like what, could I read it on my own? One of the things that I think if you're using these with students, um, one of the things that you could do is make them mute and have them predict the meaning or read aloud if that's important to you um, so that they are thinking about the, the characters and interpreting meaning without the support from the audio. Um, so that's one way you could do it. Um, you could also use these transcripts now that I'm putting them up there um, and have them try to read that or, or check their, their comprehension of the text um, and then let them use the videos some other time. Um, so my request would be, do not say that you wrote anything that I provided here. Please give credit if you're going to tell people about this or share it with students even. You don't have to like say my name and all that, but just say that I got this from this YouTube channel um, of a Chinese teacher so that your students know that you're using something 
made by someone else. So please just don't claim that you did it. Um, if you're interested in creating the readings themselves, this in, in the very, very beginning students, this one might be helpful. Um, and then a little bit more advanced Chinese reading, but still kind of beginning level Chinese reading is talked about in here. And oh, again, we've got this way to make the read along videos video. That's still solid content. Um, again, using Screencast-O-Matic, and then the other website is Quick Slides, which is free online. You go in here, you click right there, you copy and paste your text into that window. Everywhere you hit enter, it makes a new slide. slide. And then you submit, and there it is. So you can advance the screen, although I just put in one line of text here so far. It's automatic about the way that it makes the size of the font. It doesn't, I don't know, rhyme or reason, I don't know. There are some times where it's really tiny and sometimes where it's really huge. Um, I'm not controlling that. The thing I can control is the color of the background. So that's kind of fun. Um, so I make them here in quick slides and then give students access to it by recording it in Screencast-O-Matic and uploading it like these to YouTube. There it is. Yeah. <laughs>